Hey Stabs, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial and in this very short tutorial I want to show you how you can clone literally any website to Webflow. Just in case you're trying to design websites for people, for your client, for yourself, you can just literally use anybody's website as a design inspiration for yourself. So this happened to UI UX designer from time to time, they just need that inspiration for their web design a project. So for the purpose of this example, I will try to just clone wordpress.org. This is what it looks like currently. I'll try to clone this into Webflow. So I'll copy this URL. There is a tool that I've been recommending. I've been talking about quite a lot right now. It's called Clone WebEx. This tool will literally help you clone any website to your preferred page builder with a single click of a button so it works very well with webflow with elementor with bricks with gutenberg is coming and some other page builders so i've done tutorials in time past about elementor about bricks so i just thought i could show you too exactly how you can get this done with web i will leave a link in the video description for you to come down here so there is still an ongoing 30 percent off launch so you can come here and take advantage of that also in the video description you will see a coupon code that will give you amazing discount however they have a free a plan but this will give you three export by month it may not be responsive from what is said here you can only get desktop template so you can come down here you can experiment with the free or check the monthly plan or their yearly plan which i would always recommend and if you have some bucks to spend you can check out also their lifetime plan so this is exactly what it looks like at the back end but if you have a new account you will have this project here you can just add, add a new project put the project name and put the domain of the project in my own case here is wordpress.org but since i have wordpress.org project already created so i won't be creating a new project i will just come to wordpress clone here so let's just open up this project so you can see i have the home page here literally cloned here i can reclone it again uh for just tutorial purpose this is the about page this is another page here called showcase so i can just keep cloning pages and pages and pages till i clone the entire wordpress.org but once you are here if you're new it will say that you should install your chrome extension because that's exactly what you need for you to be able to clone any website i can click here to download the chrome extension install it into your chrome browser you should have this icon here so you can then go to the website you want to clone for example wordpress.org right now i can just click this uh, extension here it will ask me to select at uh, the project but i will do wordpress.org uh, if you are using a different project uh, from the website you want to clone it would not work so you must create a project for the website you want to use so that's how it's done so i can click at the page but before you do that always ensure that you scroll through the page to see that every element on the page is fully loaded uh, in case the website is using lazy load or the website is using some form of animation that's very 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 important so once this is done i can just come back here now i can do wordpress.org here and i can add this project so as you can see here, we have wordpress.org website literally cloned here. This is beautiful. So let's scroll down and see this is exactly what it is like on wordpress.org. That's it. So uh, you see that we have a box here by our far right hand corner. There are some stuff we can't do there. But before we go down there, we need to select the element we want to clone. So if you come down here, you will see that you can easily pick up element. Uh, so if you come, if you scroll around any aspect of the page uh, but in my case here i may want to clone the entire page which is possible i will just click this as uh, so once i click this uh, i would have this dialog box here that gives me an insight into what exactly i want to clone so this is the current selector what i have selected and this is the parent selector this pre selector is supposed to select the entire page so i uh, like this eye toggle here so if i click this right now so you can see that this element here is gone and that's quite very beautiful so if i use this right now uh, this is what will be copied into my webflow so i can untoggle this again so it's back so if i toggle this everything on the page should entirely go so as you can see that's it uh, so uh so let's just work with this so we've been able to select this element that we want to clone the next thing for us to do is to select our page builder 
So like I said, so this work with Elementor Pro and the free version as well. Also with Webflow, Bricks, like I told you, Oxygen, Breakdance, Gutenberg are all coming. So let's work with Webflow right now. Uh, let's leave all of these things here. I don't want to mess with the breakpoint of our website, but you can mess around with that. I don't want to reduce the dump size as well. I just want to export this. So I'll click this and then I'll copy this. That's it. That's everything we need to do here. So I have my Webflow account here. It's a free account. I can just create a new site. Here I can just come and hit the select here. So let's work with something very blank. And I can just call this WordPress clone. And I can create this site. For me to be able to paste uh, my cloned website here, I just need to select this element here. And then I can just do my control V for me to paste the element that has been copied. And that's literally everything I need to do. So you can see here, I have wordpress.org website cloned into my Webflow. So right now I can go ahead, I can go and customize this, redesign this for my project isn't this amazing so let's preview this let's see what this look like so this is it super amazing super beautiful so as you can see we can also check the responsiveness to see that this is responsive so isn't this amazing so we can also check the mobile view as well so you can see this is beautiful so this is literally how easy it is for you to clone any website to webflow using clone web x check the video description for you to see a link to clone web x you can give this to a try and let me know your experience i will be looking forward to that thank you for watching this video i hope it has been useful if it has give me a thumbs up if you have any issues do let me know in the comment section i will look out for them and that's my time for this tutorial i will see you in another one and until then stay safe